In this example, we're going to take a look at the stretch command inside of BricsCAD. So before we begin, let's take care of a few housekeeping duties here. We want to make sure that Polar, Entity Snap, Snap Tracking, and Dynamic Input are all turned on. And returning back to the drawing area, the first thing that we're going to do is right-click Polar Settings, and let's check to make sure that under Polar Add Angles, you have a value of 30. And under Polar Mode, the Use Additional Polar Tracking Angles are set. Go ahead and close the Settings dialog box. And now we're ready to begin. Selecting the Stretch command on the Modify toolbar, I'm going to select this geometry here. Right click and then select a base point and then a second point. And you'll notice that where the selection window crossed the line, the geometry is stretched at that location. Repeating the command, we're going to use another crossing window, this time selecting the entire slot. Now, because it was encompassed in that window, it moves instead of stretches. And once more, we're going to stretch the geometry here. You'll notice that. The entire circles move, even though the larger outside circle was not completely enclosed. Finally, let's do one more stretch operation, and we're going to use the Shift Select option to remove the small circle, and then using the Polar Extensions, we're going to extend this arm approximately 70 units. And that completes our lesson on stretching in BricsCAD.